Recognize this? It's the dreaded ANR, the application not responding dialog. Yeah, Android shows this dialog when an app has taken more than five seconds to return from an event handler. Well, why would that happen? Well, it's because the UI thread is blocked. It's waiting for something. And since the UI thread is the only thread that can process input and draw to the screen, when it stops responding, so does your app. So what can cause the UI thread to just stop like that? Well, the usual suspects are system calls that can block indefinitely, like disk or network access. These blocking calls are like time bombs in your application. Under normal conditions, they might execute so fast you barely notice them. But with the right combination of hardware and software and luck, they explode. My name is Ian Nee Lewis, and I'm going to show you how to find blocking calls in your UI thread before they blow up on you. Now, the tool that can help us here is called Strict Mode. You can get to it by going to Developer Options and selecting Strict Mode Enabled. And when this option is enabled, anytime a blocking call is made on the UI thread, the screen border will flash red. Now, that's the Strict Mode Alarm. It signals a potential performance problem. For example, let's say your app suddenly decides to, I don't know, load 90 bitmaps during a scroll event. With Strict Mode on, you'll know about that because you'll see that red flash. But there's more to strict mode than just a checkbox. Strict mode is actually a flexible and fine-grained API that gives you control over what every thread in your app is allowed to do. It's kind of like a runtime version of Lint. Now, using strict mode means defining a policy for one or more of the threads in your app. Now, a policy is an object that's composed of two components, a detection mask and a penalty. Now, the detection mask is a set of flags that defines the things that you want to test for, like disk reads, or network access. The penalty tells the system what to do when any one of those flag conditions are met. The API in strict mode gives you a whole set of penalty options, from flashing the screen like we saw earlier, to writing to the system log, all the way up to crashing your process. You can also use strict mode to respond to custom conditions that you detect. Let's say, for instance, that you know that one of your methods is too slow to run on the UI thread. To detect that with strict mode, you call strict mode .slow call at the beginning of the method. And make sure you enable detect custom slow calls in the policy for the UI thread. Now, when detect custom slow calls is enabled, a call to note slow call will raise an exception, and then strict mode will apply whatever penalty that you've defined for that thread. Now, if detect custom slow calls is disabled, then note slow call is a no op. Oh, here's a quick pro tip. Call note slow call whenever you acquire a lock. Why? Well, locks are kind of like stealth blocking calls. They often return immediately, so fast that you don't even notice they're there. But if the lock is contended, your thread will get switched out with no guarantee on when it gets to run again. Now, locks won't usually cause an ANR all by themselves, but if you call a synchronized method or acquire a lock on your UI thread, sooner or later you're going to drop a frame. A strict mode also has an API to set the policy for the virtual machine. That's the VM policy. Now, where the thread policy has options for detecting slower blocking methods, the VM policy gives you options for detecting various kinds of memory leaks. Now, these two policies complement each other. Remember, if you're low on memory, even a normal allocation can block for hundreds of milliseconds. Now, chances are there's at least one blocking call on your app's UI thread. It's just waiting to cause a glitch, a dropped frame, or even an ANR. A strict mode will help you find those time bombs. In an upcoming video, we'll talk about how to defuse them, which is why you need to check out the rest of our Android Performance Patterns content for other ways to improve your performance. And don't forget to join our Google Plus community for more excellent info. So keep calm, profile your code, and always remember, perf matters. <laughs>